we're about to explore a topic that holds immense significance in the realm of love and companionship, one-sided relationships. Now I understand nobody enters a relationship expecting it to be unbalanced, right? However, the reality is many of us find ourselves entangled in relationships where the effort, the love, the giving seems to be flowing in just one direction. Today, we're going to unravel the signs and symptoms of a one-sided relationship. Whether you're in the early stage of dating or have been committed for a while, understanding these signs is crucial. Welcome to Heartfelt Guidance, your pathway to love and understanding. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of successful relationships? Do you want to navigate the world of dating with confidence and grace? Look no further, you found your ultimate destination for all things love, connections, and human psychology. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on the illuminating advice we have in store. Join our community of like-minded individuals who are committed to building meaningful connections and fostering love in their lives. Sign number one, imbalanced effort. Take a moment to reflect. Are you the one consistently reaching out, making plans, and investing emotionally while the other person seems indifferent or disengaged? This persistent disparity can indicate a one-sided situation and my friend, it's not a healthy place to be. Consider this scenario. In a balanced relationship, both individuals actively participate in providing emotional, practical, and moral support. It's a reciprocal exchange of affection, attention, and understanding. Yet, if you find yourself offering unwavering support, always there to lend a listening ear or a helping hand, while your partner rarely reciprocates, it's a clear sign of a one-sided dynamic. Effort in relationships shouldn't be transactional, but it should be reciprocal. In a healthy partnership, emotional, practical, and moral support should flow both ways. If you're the perpetual giver, offering unwavering support and understanding while your partner barely reciprocates, it's a clear indication of an imbalance. Consider the early stages of dating. It's an exhilarating time, but, but even here, an uneven effort can disrupt the buddy connection. If you find yourself consistently initiating conversations, planning dates, and showing interest while your date remains passive, it sets a precedent. Relationships should be a mutual pursuit, not a solo endeavor where your efforts echo into emptiness. Sign number two, limited communication. Communication, the lifeblood of any meaningful relationship, can also reveal the true nature of a connection. Limited communication, especially when it's predominantly one-sided, can be a silent but potent red flag. Let's dissect this issue a bit. Think about your conversations with this person. Are they consistently centered around their needs, interests, or experiences, with little curiosity about yours? Do they monopolize the conversation, rarely asking about your day or your thoughts? Worse yet, are you the one always initiating communication, laugh wondering if they'd even reach out if you didn't? Now consider the context. In the early stages of getting to know someone, mutual engagement is vital. It's not about constant texting, but about a reciprocal effort to connect. If your attempts to make plans are met with silence, or if they only reach out when they need something, you're dealing with a clear case of one-sidedness. Let's draw a parallel to the concept of imbalanced effort. Communication should flow naturally, not as a burden or obligation. If you find yourself being the sole architect of conversation, constantly reaching out without a similar effort from the other side, it's time for introspection. Sure, we all have busy lives and instant replies aren't mandatory. However, consistent silence or lack of engagement from their end, especially when paired with a sudden surge of interest when they need attention, is a glaring sign. A healthy relationship shouldn't leave you feeling like an afterthought, summoned only when convenient for the other person. If you're still there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more relationship advice like these. Now let's get back into the video. Sign number three, there's no compromise. Picture this, a relationship where one person's preferences constantly take center stage, overshadowing the needs and desires of the other. It's a scenario where compromise is a foreign concept where one individual consistently puts their own wants above everything else. Now let's break this down, because this lack of compromise is a glaring sign of a one-sided relationship. In a healthy relationship, 
Compromise is not just a virtue, it's a necessity. It's a delicate art of give and take, a balance that ensures both partners are heard, valued, and respected. It's understanding that the world doesn't revolve around one person's desires. This mutual willingness to find middle ground is what makes a relationship thrive. Now ask yourself this, in your relationship, do you feel seen, valued, heard, and respected? If the answer is no, then it's time to raise the alarm. A relationship devoid of compromise leads to an imbalance where one person's needs consistently outweigh the others. It's a sinking ship, where the burden of making things work falls disproportionately on one set of shoulders. What's crucial to realize is that these dynamics aren't just confined to established relationships. They can manifest in the early stage of dating too. It's easy to get swept away by the initial excitement, but it's equally important to step back and assess the situation realistically. Are your efforts being reciprocated? Are your needs being acknowledged? If not, it might be time to reevaluate. Here's the hard truth. Adult relationships are conditional. They are built to mutual respect, understanding, and compromise. If someone consistently takes without giving, uses without reciprocating, and disregards your needs, it's not a relationship worth investing in. Recognizing this isn't about being transactional. It's about valuing yourself enough to walk away from a situation that doesn't uplift you. Sign number four, feeling drained. Let's talk about a feeling we've all experienced at some point, being drained. Imagine constantly putting effort into a relationship, a pursuit, or even just dating, only to find yourself emotionally exhausted and unappreciated. It's like pouring your energy into a void and it leaves you feeling drained, tired, and perhaps a little disillusioned. This feeling of being drained often creeps in when you find yourself in a one-sided relationship, especially if you're the one doing all the chasing. The chase, my friend, is a one-sided affair. Think about it. You're running after someone who's actively running away from you. It's not a romantic pursuit. It's a futile endeavor and it's time to recognize that. If you're constantly texting, calling, or reaching out, pouring your emotions into someone who doesn't reciprocate, it's a clear sign. It's not just about being ghosted. It's about understanding the unspoken language of disinterest. It's about acknowledging that some people won't outright say they're not interested. They'll show it through their actions or lack thereof. Now I'm not saying this to be harsh. It's a reality check, a reminder that your time, your energy, and your emotions are precious. Don't waste them on someone who doesn't value what you're offering. If you've sent multiple texts and received silence in return, if your efforts are met with indifference or apathy, it's time to stop the chase. Walking away from a draining situation isn't a defeat, it's a victory. It's a declaration of your self-respect and self-worth. It's acknowledging that you deserve someone who meets your efforts with equal enthusiasm someone who reciprocates the energy you invest. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Your feedback is invaluable to us. Stay tuned for more empowering discussions. And until next time, take care, stay empowered, and remember, you deserve happiness in all your relationships. Goodbye, everyone.